Hello everyone, there is a new hero released in the Chinese server, and his name is Ao Yin. He is a marksman hero, packed with four unique skills. Ao Yin is limited time hero focused on Year of the Dragon theme in China. I said limited time because he will be available to purchase for a short time. Also, you cannot buy this hero with gold. You need to spend tokens to get this hero. This might change in the global version of the game, but the chances are low. Now let's talk about his skills. Ao Yin's passive activates when you use any of his skills. Elemental Soul is displayed below his health bar. His sword color changes according to the elements. Ao Yin's passive attached the elemental souls of his last two skill casts to his main and offhand sword. The sword color displayed on his back are his main sword. His main sword deals 100% physical damage on attacks. His offhand deals 30 to 60% physical damage to other nearby enemies. Using skills applies one dragon soul mark on Ao Yin, up to three stacks. His next basic attack consumes the marks, sending dragon souls to attack the target. Each mark consumed causes one additional soul attack. The enhanced attack has added effects based on his main sword element. Subsequent souls deal 50% damage if the target is struck by multiple dragon souls. When swapping elements, it prioritizes retaining souls of the same type if possible. Meaning, if you use same element, the enhanced basic attack will deal more damage. Properly cycling elements and stacking marks enhances Ao Yin's high damage basic attacks after using skills. Ao Yin's first skill swings out a sword wave that damages enemies in a line. It applies one stack of Dragon Soul Mark that enhances Ao Yin's next basic attack. It also attaches a Fire Dragon Soul for a short time. With the Fire Soul, Ao Yin's basic attacks deal burn damage over time. Having Fire Element on both sword increases this damage by 50%. If Fire is the main soul, his enhanced basic attack will deal true damage on the first hit and physical damage on the following attacks. So his first skill allows Ao Yin to generate marks for enhanced attacks while also attaching the fire elemental damage over time effect. It sets up combos for his ultimate by stacking marks and setting up the desired main elemental soul. Ao Yin's second skill swings another sword wave, dealing physical damage to enemies hit, with 50% splash behind them. It also heals Ao Yin, based on physical damage. The skill attaches a water dragon soul for a short time. With water, Ao Yin's basic attacks heal him for health and mana. Having water on both weapons increases the healing by 50%. If water is the main soul, each strike of his enhanced basic attack deals physical damage and restores health after hitting. So his second skill provides AoE damage like his first skill, but also gives Ao Yin bonus healing power over time. It lets him sustain and trade better 1v1, or in small skirmishes. The added durability pairs well with his elemental attack playstyle. Ao Yin's third skill sends out a sword wave, dealing physical damage to enemies hit and knocking them back. It deals 50% damage behind the main target. The skill also gives Ao Yin 30% bonus movement speed that decays over time. This allows him to reposition and chase opponents after striking them. Using the ability attaches a Wind Dragon Soul for a short time. Having Wind Soul grants bonus movement speed with both swords increasing it further by 50%. If Wind becomes the main soul, each strike of Ao Yin's enhanced basic attack will deal physical damage and knock back the target. So his third skill enhances mobility through both immediate boosted speed and the attached wind soul. It disrupts enemies through knockbacks, allowing Ao Yin to swiftly change positions. The added movement complements his aggressive playstyle. Ao Yin's ultimate uses the power of his white sword, turning him into a dragon. While this skill is active, he becomes untargetable and ignores terrain for 4.5 seconds. He then dives to a target location, dealing physical damage and slowing enemies hit by 30% along the way. When landing, Ao Yin deals the same damage and knocks up enemies in the area for one second. This allows him to disrupt and damage grouped up enemies. 
For 10 seconds after landing, he gains 20% bonus attack speed and 50 extra attack range. During this time, his enhanced attacks strike up to two extra nearby targets with his dual swords. While flying, Ao Yin can freely adjust the Elemental Dragon Souls attached to his weapons to prepare his desired enhanced basic attack effect for landing. So his ultimate allows Ao Yin to safely reposition before diving in for massive AoE damage. He bursts priority targets while disrupting enemy team's formation. It then leaves him in an enhanced state to deal continuous elemental damage. Ao Yin is an agile marksman who enhances his attacks with Elemental Dragon Souls. His passive lets him attach fire, water, and wind souls from his last two skill casts, enhancing his basic attacks after using abilities. Skills like his sword waves apply damaging effects while granting bonus power for several seconds through the attached souls. These effects include burn damage, healing, knockback, or movement speed. Stacking soul marks then unloading enhanced basic attacks is central to Ao Yin's combo-oriented playstyle. You need to rotate his skills to apply marks and get the desired elemental souls before releasing enhanced basic attack. Ao Yin's ultimate allows him to safely reposition by flying untargetable over walls and terrain. After diving in at his destination point, he gains attack speed and extended auto attack range while juggling multiple opponents at once. Overall, Ao Yin requires mastery of cycling his skills and managing his empowered states to take down groups of enemies swiftly using his elemental blade enhancements. And that's the new hero Ao Yin for you. Do you think if we can purchase this hero with gold once he arrives in global server? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you for watching.